I'm blessed with everything I need. I am working hard towards everything I want. And most of all, I appreciate and thank God for what I have. On April 15, 1998, I was brought into this world by two amazing parents. I was a premature baby and weighed five pounds and one-fourth of an ounce. I was a tiny little thing, but I became chunky fast, as you can tell. I grew up an only child, but it wasn't so bad because I had all of my cousins. We were all very close in age, so it was like I had multiple brothers and sisters. My parents are the reason for who I am today. They've pushed me to be the best that I can be. When I was seven years of age, they introduced me to a sport that would soon become my life. I fell in love with the game of baseball. Baseball to me became way more than a game. It was all I knew. I started my journey as a little leaguer at Prairie Village. Playing at PV was more about having fun and eating pickle pops. Although pickle pops were the bomb, I knew that if I wanted to become better, then I needed to play at a more competitive level. At the age of 10, I got on a travel ball team where I played in multiple tournaments throughout the country. This was a whole new experience to me and I was exposed to a ton of talented competition. I met some really awesome people who I am still friends with to this day, and some of these guys are also my teammates. My dad coached me as I grew up and having him push me to my full potential made me very competitive. Along the way, I have had many coaches and they have all taught me new things about the game of baseball. Although baseball isn't a physical contact sport, it doesn't put you out of harm's way. The fall of 2011, I endured a severe injury where a changeup got the best of me. I was up to bat when I got fooled. I was out in front on a baseball when I fouled it off my bat, which came back and hit me in the eye. All I remember was falling to the ground and screaming, I can't see, I can't see. I had a traumatic eye injury, fracturing my orbital bone. I needed laser surgery, which was a 50-50 chance of working, and it did. I was told that there was a chance I would never play the game that I was in love with ever again. The doctors encouraged me not to play, but there was no chance my days of playing were over. I had a minor setback with such a stage for a major comeback. You can't start the next chapter of your life if you keep rereading the last one. I recovered in time for the spring of my 8th grade year, which was one of my best years in my baseball career. Playing baseball next to my brothers makes the game worth playing. We did well that year and was given the chance to play at Jim Patterson Stadium, which is the Louisville Cardinals baseball field. This was an experience of a lifetime. Playing on that field to a baseball player is like a girl with a thousand dollar gift card to Victoria's Secret. My years at Farnsley are very memorable and I will never forget those days. The original plan was to go to PRP to play baseball with my buddies until we was asked to play summer ball for Butler. My next journey would be playing at the high school level. Yes, baseball during travel ball is competitive, but nothing is more competitive and exciting than playing the rivals. My favorite memory as a Butler baseball player was my junior year when we played our biggest rival, PRP. It was tied 2-2 in the fifth inning with runners on first and second. I was up to bat and I hit a two-run double which would give us the win. My sophomore year, I was asked to play varsity which was a huge deal to me. My first game as a varsity player, we played Tage Creek High School, the number one, the number one team in the state at the time, and we beat them in 12 innings, 4-3. This is another one of my favorite memories as a Butler baseball player. My years of a high school baseball player have been the most memorable years of my life. Playing baseball from the age of six to now has been my life. I fell in love with the game at a young age and it will always have a special place in my heart. I thank my parents, I thank my parents and all of my coaches for making me into the young man that I am today. Most of all, I thank God for my talents and the success that I've had. Life moves pretty fast. If you don't stop and look around once in a while, you can miss it. The world is round and the place which may seem like the end may also only be the beginning.